Welcome to the World According to Christy podcast. This show will motivate you, inspire you, and give you tools to activate your goals and dreams, whether those dreams are entrepreneurial, corporate, or personal. This episode is sponsored by the Faith to Conquer Fear course, The Mind, How What You Think and Choose Impacts Your Life. Do you want to become more aware of your limiting thoughts and create a vision for what you want and the choices you must make to support it? If so, visit www.empoweredspeaker.com slash faith to conquer fear courses to learn more about this powerful self-study course. Hello, it's Christy Demetrakis. In this episode, I want to talk about space to be free. Space to be free. Over the last few months, I have tried a lot of new things. While in Arkansas on a business trip in March, after a workout at Orange Theory, I went to this new restaurant called Eat My Catfish. I was intrigued by the name and because I love catfish. While looking at the menu, I decided to try a pound of crawfish. I've tasted crawfish before, but I've never really eaten them per se. So I decided to try them. I probably wouldn't have ordered them if I were eating in the restaurant where people could see me trying to learn how to eat them for the first time. But I ordered them because I knew I was going back to my hotel room. In my hotel room, I could be comfortable figuring out how to properly eat crawfish while sitting in front of the TV. That was my safe space. Because the gyms have been closed, I've been working out on the big screen TV in my basement. It's a great space. I realize just how much I love that space since I was confined to it for so long. I have my dumbbells, my stretch bands, and everything I need to have a great workout each morning. What I have discovered about myself is that in this space, I am willing to try certain exercises I have been hesitant to do in the past. For example, I've always hated the starfish exercise. It's similar to a jumping jack, but you really jump. Both your feet and arms spread out as you jump in the air, so you look like a starfish. The instructor at the YMCA that I used to go to used to love this exercise, and every time she asked us to do it, I opted for doing a simple jumping jack. Why, you might ask? Great question. As I think about it, it wasn't ability. I am fully capable. It was mental. For some reason, I did not trust my legs to land in time. Now, I know that sounds like a physical concern, but it was indeed mental because there was no basis for my distrust of my legs. They work and have always worked perfectly fine. Somehow, I had convinced myself that my legs would not cooperate. So let's just play it safe. But in my basement, in my space where there is no one but me, I could try it. And if I looked crazy or if I actually did fall, oh well. But you know what? I tried it. I didn't fall. I may have actually looked crazy, but I wasn't looking in the mirror, so I'll say no. And here's the important part. That one action, trying to do the starfish exercise, bolstered my confidence. Now I have the confidence to do other exercises requiring jumping because I know my legs won't fail me. And I learned that in a safe space. There are spaces where you feel free to try new things. Places where you can challenge yourself without fear of looking crazy or fear of failure, although failure is really a great opportunity to learn. There are also people who represent a safe space. You can let your hair down. It's that friend you don't have to put a bra on for when they come over. Now that's a good friend. Before my daughter went off to college, she was my human safe space. She was my proofreader for my first book, Faith to Conquer Fear, Inspiration to Achieve Your Dreams. I remember she used to lay under my desk while I was writing. I would print pages and she would read them and give me an honest and accurate assessment. At age 12. She was always my practice buddy for my speaking engagements. She would lay across the bed or the couch with my speech in hand and patiently watch me pace back and forth as I memorized my content. She would give me a word clue when I got stuck and ask why I was talking so slow (laughs) since I was trying to learn it. 
She was the only one I felt comfortable practicing in front of. Why am I telling you these personal stories? Because it's important to have a safe space, whether that's a physical place or a person. We all need a space where we can be free. Free to try something new, free to fail, free to succeed. Let me end by saying this. Freedom starts and ends in our minds. Yes, my hotel room was my safe space for trying messy crawfish for the first time, which I now am in love with, by the way. But it didn't have to be. I could have just as easily eaten those crawfish in the restaurant. But my mind convinced me that I needed to learn this in private. I could have tried the starfish exercise at the gym. I had multiple opportunities to do the exact same thing. But in my mind, I didn't want to fail publicly. I could have practiced my speeches without my daughter's help and encouragement, but she was available and willing. Now she's been in college for four years and I practice my speeches in front of the mirror. The mirror is my new safe space. Let me reiterate. It's important to have a safe space, whether that's a physical place or a person. We all need a space where we can be free to try something new. The freedom to fail or succeed without an audience. Just make sure your safe space doesn't become your hiding place. That's all for this episode. Don't forget to visit www.empoweredspeaker.com slash faith to conquer fear courses to get your copy of The Mind, how what you think and choose impacts your life. I'm doing what I love. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to the World According to Christy podcast. If you're ready to increase your confidence, increase your faith and conquer your fears, visit empoweredspeaker.com to schedule a free strategy session with Christy.